Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Hey, watchers! This week we're going to learn about top 25 French phrases. Let's go! Bonjour! Bonjour is hello. Bonjour! 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 Hey! Okay, now you can say bonjour any time of the day, even if it's night. Salut! Hi! Hi is uh, salut. Salut, comment ça va? Hey, how are you doing? So, salut is like bonjour, and you can also use it to say hi and to say goodbye. So, when you leave, you can also say salut, à la prochaine. Ça va? How are you? You can say ça va, like just after salut, ça va. Or bonjour, ça va. Or comment ça va? If you only say ça va, it's kind of missing something. So, put it after a greeting. So, how are you? How you doing? Comment ça va? <laughs> Bonsoir. Good evening. Not good night. Almost good night, but not. Bonsoir is also a greeting you can use when you leave or when you enter someone's place. For example, if you go in the evening to someone's house or party, you can say, ah, bonsoir tout le monde. Bonne nuit. Good night. Good night is bonne nuit. Person sleeping next to you. Bonne nuit. Or to your family when you go to sleep. Oui. Yes, yeah, oui. You also say yeah. Maybe you've heard oui, oui. Like French people often do this, oui, oui. It's also a cartoon for children. Oui, oui and his little car. You should try and watch it in French. It's very educative. Non, non, non. <laughs> you have oui, oui and non, non. We often say them both. Just use yes and no. Oui et non. Je m'appelle, my name is, je m'appelle Lia. You knew that already, huh? What's your name? Leave it in the comment in French. S'il vous plaît, please. Please, s'il vous plaît. This is a polite version, and if you want the more friendly version, is s'il te plaît, if you're asking a friend. S'il te plaît, give me your candy, I'm starving. S'il te plaît, donne-moi des bonbons. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. D'accord, okay. So, we also use okay, but with a French accent. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? When you come to the cinema with me? D'accord. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. If someone is blocking the way, you just say, Excusez-moi. Merci. Thank you. Please learn this one and be polite. In French, we just have merci. There is no short version of it, and you can use it for anyone. So when you receive something at the grocery store, ah, merci. Or when someone does your favor, ah, merci. If you want to be really polite or really thankful, you can say, Merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot. De rien. So you are welcome. If someone says merci to you, you can just say, ah, de rien. So merci et de rien. Those come in a pair, so learn them together. It's nice. Il est quelle heure? What time is it? Or, quelle heure il est? You will more often hear the second version. So, oh, excusez-moi, quelle heure il est? Excuse me, what time is it? Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? We don't have many available bathrooms in public places, and usually they are really dirty. So, or maybe if you are at someone's house, you can ask, où sont les toilettes? Enchanté, nice to meet you. Bonjour, enchanté, je m'appelle Lia. And here you have three of today's words together. Isn't it nice? Bonjour, je m'appelle Lia, enchanté, comment ça va? Hi, nice to meet you, my name is Lia. How are you doing? And you have all of them to greet people and start a nice conversation. So, nice to meet you, enchanté. À bientôt, see you soon. This is what I should say at the end of each video. See you soon, or à bientôt. Use it when you leave. That's about it. À demain. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. À demain. Yeah. Au revoir. Bye bye, or goodbye. Au revoir is kind of polite. You can use it with everyone as well. So, if you want to be more friendly, we use like ciao. Au revoir is only for leaving, so, so yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, watchers. See you next time. A bientôt. <laughs> no, not yet, because I'm going to see you guys a lot. Bien sûr. Of course. Bien sûr que c'est le cas. If you want to be sarcastic, you can say, oui, bien sûr. We mostly use it this way, because we like being sarcastic. So, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. Je peux utiliser. Oh. May I use something, something? So, fill the blank with whatever you want. Can I use your pencil? Je peux utiliser ce stylo. Oui, oui. 
Je suis désolé. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, if you bump into someone, you can also use this one. Like, oh, je suis désolé. If I bump into somebody, they won't wake up, da? Moon don't go where it pleases! Yeah! Terminator is more like this. I'm sorry, je suis désolé. Pourquoi? Why? Why? Pourquoi? C'est vrai? Really? C'est vrai? C'est vrai? Oh, fine. So, if you are hearing gossip and stuff, you can be like, oh, c'est vrai? No, no, c'est vrai? Oh, c'est vrai? Really? Yeah. And you can use it with all the intonations. C'est vrai? C'est vrai. So the opposite of c'est vrai is c'est pas vrai. No, it's not. Well, not really. Je ne comprends pas. I don't understand. Lui a never understand. Lui a said her name a lot. Or else she forgets. Happened before. When someone is speaking too fast, like I do, I'm sorry, je suis désolé. You can tell them je ne comprends pas. Or... Yeah, because they have all those fancy French words and vocabulary. You can be like, non, je ne comprends pas. At the end! So, remember those main sentences and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment if you ne comprends pas. Bye bye! Au revoir et à bientôt. Please stop it, I'm waving. Hi everyone, I am Lindsay from FrenchPod101.com. In this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 most common tourist vocabulary. Let's begin. Ticket. 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 For example, you can hear Je vais vérifier votre ticket, monsieur. I am going to check your ticket, sir. So this happens a lot when you're in a train. Uh, somebody's going to come up to you and ask for your ticket. Tourist. 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 Les touristes français sont bruyants. French tourists are noisy. Um, I don't know why you're saying that. Mm -mm, not true. Itinéraire. Itinerary. Itinéraire. Itinerary. Je dois planifier mon itinéraire. I need to plan my itinerary. Yeah, I love to do that myself. Like, I spend maybe two months before of my time to look for stuff. Guide touristique. Guidebook. Guide touristique. Guidebook. C'est recommandé dans le guide touristique. It is recommended in the guidebook. Bus touristique. Tour bus. Bus touristique. Tour bus. Ce bus touristique est plein à craquer. This tour bus is packed. When I visit new uh, cities, I usually use tour buses, like when I went to Chicago, for example. That's pretty cool. You can see, like, sightseeing and stuff like that. Temple. 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 Il y a de très beaux temples au Japon. There are beautiful temples in Japan. I have never been, so I cannot confirm about that, but yeah, maybe. Mosque. Mosque. Mosquée, mosque. Il y a une mosquée très célèbre à Istanbul. There is a very famous mosque in Istanbul. Église, church. Église, church. Cette famille va à l'église tous les dimanches. This family goes to church every Sunday. Yes, that is really important, do it. Cascade. Waterfall. Cascade. Waterfall. Il a pris une jolie cascade en photo. He took a picture of a beautiful waterfall. Yeah, we love to go to the, the Na ah, Niagara Falls. Niagara. Ni oh my gosh! Okay, so <laughs> then put it again. <laughs> Ni how do you say? Niagara. Niagara? Yeah. I agree, but this really? Yeah. Visiter, to tour. Visiter, to tour. Ma famille va visiter Rome l'année prochaine. My family will visit Rome next year. I haven't been to Rome, but I have been to Milano and Venezia. Beautiful. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Which phrase did you like the most? Leave us a comment letting us know. Hey watchers and welcome to this week new top word and this week will be 25 French verbs. Here we go. Être, 
To be. To be or not to be. Être ou ne pas être. What do you want to be when you grow up Qu'est-ce que tu veux être plus tard Or, qu'est-ce que tu veux être quand tu grandiras Avoir, to have. Don't forget that verbs in French are conjugated, so it's a pain to learn. You never use avoir by itself. I have, j'ai. J'ai des cheveux bruns. I have brown hair. Faire, to do. Faire, something, something. Like, faire du vélo would be like to bike, but you actually, you are doing bike. Faire la cuisine, to cook. To do the cooking, or something like that. What do you like to do? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? If you are asking for hobbies, tell me what you like to do in the comments, watchers. Dire, to say. Je dis beaucoup de bêtises. I say a lot of silly things. But that's why you like me. What can I say? Qu'est-ce que je peux dire? I don't know. Pouvoir. Can. Yes, you can. Oui, nous pouvons. Oui, nous pouvons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do a Rubik's Cube? Est-ce que tu peux faire un Rubik's Cube? Tchaka, tchaka, tchaka. Allez, to go. Just go. Va-t'en. Go away. You don't use it with French people. They're gonna get mad at you. Go walking, aller se balader. Or go in the kitchen, aller à la cuisine. To go on a trip, aller voyager. Voir, to see. I can't see anything. Je peux rien voir. Boo. <laughs> Peekaboo. You cannot see me. On ne peut pas me voir. Yeah. Vouloir, to want. I want, I want to rock right now. Je veux rocker maintenant. Je veux, je veux rocker maintenant. Sounds so lame. I want candy. Je veux des bonbons. What do I want? Everything. I want lasagna. Je veux des lasagnes. I'm not Garfield. Venir, to come. Tu dois venir t'amuser avec nous. Please come play with us. <laughs> come to Mundo. You can come with us. Tu peux venir avec nous. Is the way French people will invite you. So, yeah, sure, come. Ouais, viens. Devoir, must. Devoir is also homework, because it's something you must do. It also means duty. It's an eclectic word. You can use it for so many things. You have to do your homework. Tu dois faire tes devoirs. Je dois faire la vaisselle. I have to do the dishes. Or else it stinks. Prendre, to take. You can take the train, prendre le train, or you can take something, prendre quelque chose. You can take your time, prendre son temps. Lazy! Trouver, to find. I found something! J'ai trouvé quelque chose. It's a bottle of water again, because that's my only prop for today. Yeah, I found the solution. J'ai trouvé la solution. Did I find the solution? No, I didn't, because Mike messed it up. <laughs> Red should go here, and you have the cross. Then you do the next one. <laughs> J'ai trouvé de quoi manger. I found something to eat. Finally, I won't be starving anymore. Donner, to give. To give money, donner de l'argent. Please give money to Leah. <laughs> donner un cadeau for someone's birthday. To give a present. Falloir, need to. It's more have to than need to. Ouais. Need to. I need to do my hair. Il faut que je me coupe les cheveux. Il faut que je pense à une phrase. I need to think of a sentence. Ah, this one it fits. Parler, to speak. You can speak a language. Parler une langue. Speak French, parler français. My chair is squeaky. And my spoon is too big. Je te parle plus. I'm not speaking to you anymore. <coughs> Mettre, to put. To put something on your head. Mettre quelque chose sur sa tête. Like a hat. To put your clothes on. Mettre ses vêtements. Savoir, to know. I know everything. Je sais tout. Remember, no one knows everything. Souvenez-vous, personne ne sait tout. Savoir in French is also knowledge. It's the same word. Passer, to pass. On lui passe un truc. To pass something on. Also work in sport. Pass, pass, pass. But I won't catch it. I did. Regarder, to watch. To watch a movie. Regarder un film. To watch a match. Regarder un match. Of whatever you want. Go Jinx! Go Jinx! Go Mundo! Go Red Team! Go Soccer Team! Go Mundo! Watching the news. Regarder les nouvelles. Aimer. Like. I like you. Poo. Aimer is also to love. So you can like someone or love someone. It will be the same. J'aime le chocolat. I like chocolate. There's a guy that I like. No one I say gives me butterfly. That's a South Park song. I did it wrong. Croire, to believe. 
I believe I can fly. Je crois que je peux voler. Sound so lame. Je crois en toi. I believe in you. You can do it. You can learn French. Go watchers. Manger, to eat. I believe it's time to eat. Je crois qu'il est l'heure de manger. It's always time to eat. I like to eat. J'aime manger, which is j'aime again. See, you can use it for stuff you like to do, like eating. Nom, 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 nom. What do you like to eat, by the way? Leave your favorite food in the comments. Boire, to drink. This is what I said my water bottle prop all along. Lia Strong! To drink. It's making bubbles. To drink a fruit juice. Boire un jus de fruit. Go for the healthy choice. Jouer, to play. Let's go play again! Yay! Ha 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 ha! To play a video game. Jouer à des jeux vidéo. I like playing by myself. J'aime, <laughs> c'est tout ça. Parler, to talk. To make small talk. Parler de tout et de rien. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time for a new category of world. A bientôt! See you next time! Oui, 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 non, 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 non. By the moon and the stars in the sky. And ice cream! But I like ice cream better. And if you don't do your video correctly, you know what happens? Mundo! Stand for jinx! <laughs> hey, watchers! This week we're gonna be doing top 25 French nouns. So let's start right now. Homme, man. So, homme, man. Le chien est le meilleur ami de l'homme. Dog is man's best friend. Oh, who is the doggy? Who is the doggy? Who is the fluffy doggy? No, doggy. I should stop doing the doggy. Ami, friend. Ami, friend. Best friend, mon meilleur ami. I like hanging out with my friend. J'aime traîner avec mes amis. When I was little, I didn't have friends. Quand j'étais petite, je n'avais pas d'amis. <laughs> so sad. Femme, woman. Next one is femme, woman. I'm a woman. Je suis une femme. Jour. Day. Jour. Day. All day. Toute la journée. Il fait jour. It's day. Morning. I'm not a morning person. I don't like day. I like night. Je n'aime pas le jour. J'aime la nuit. Mer. Sea. Mer. Sea. The boat on the sea. Un bateau sur la mer. I used to live on a boat. On the sea. True story. Ah, oh, there is this song about the sea. La mer qu'on voit danser le long des golfes clairs. The sea that we see dancing along the clear coast or something like that. Tiens. Temps. Time. Temps. Time. Uh, temps can also be weather. Quel temps il fait? What's the weather today? And time is... Le temps passe vite. Time goes fast. Or do you need more time? Main. Hand. Main. Hand. Oh. Les mains. I hurt my hand yesterday. Je me suis fait mal aux mains hier. Because I was playing baseball without a glove and it hurt so bad. <laughs> pa! And smashes into your hand. Uh, se laver les mains. To wash your hand. Wash hands. Ooh, I'm sorry, tissue. Chose, sink. Chose, sink. Plein de choses. Many things. Or when you don't know what word to put in a sentence, you can just use the chose. <laughs> Quelque chose, something. La chose est une main. The thing is a hand. Ta -da. Vie. Life. Having an easy life. Avoir la vie facile. And be lazy. Ah. Zieu. Eyes. Zieu. <laughs> Eyes. So be careful in French because the plural is very different. So it's un oeil. And les yeux. Boo. Your eyes are so beautiful. T'as de beaux yeux. Heure. Time. Heure. Time. What time is it? Il est quelle heure? But heure also mean hour and not only time. Monde. World. Monde. World. To travel around the world. Voyager autour du monde. I like traveling around the world. The World Cup. 
la Coupe du Monde. Enfant, child, enfant, child, to adopt a child, adopter un enfant. I think it's a better solution for the world. When you are a child, you go to school. Les enfants vont à l'école. Ou quand on est un enfant, on va à l'école. Fois, time, fois, time. It's like multiplier, like two times four, deux fois quatre. Or time, like the number of time you do something. I went two times to see this movie because it was so good. Je suis allé voir ce film deux fois parce qu'il était trop bien. Be careful with the writing on this one because there are many words that can be pronounced uh, fois, but with a different ending. Moment, moment. Take just a moment. Or like it will take a really short amount of time. Ça va prendre juste un moment. Depending on how you say it, actually, it can vary because if you say like... Ça va prendre un moment. It means it will take a long time, dude. You better be patient. Tête, head. Tête, head. Se cogner la tête, to bump your head. Avoir la tête sur les épaules. Having your head on your shoulders, meaning you have a straight head and a clear vision of what you want to do and be very down to earth. Père, father. Père, father. I like my father. J'aime mon papa. <laughs> Un père de famille. The family's father. Meaning he's like the head of the family and all responsible and hardworking and providing for everyone. Good daddy. Fille. Girl. Fille. Girl. I'm a girl. Je suis une fille. Before I was a woman, but I got downgraded. No, I'm a girl. A cute girl. Girls just want to have fun. Les filles veulent juste s'amuser. Bad girl, bad. You're a bad girl. Vilaine fille, vilaine. Boo. Cœur. Heart. Cœur. Heart. Potato. Potato. Avoir le cœur sur la main. Having your heart on your hand is a French expression which means uh, being very generous. To hear your heart beat. Entendre son cœur battre. I can hear it at night. Poum, poum. Poum, poum. And then you put freaky music behind it. En, year, en, year, one year, un an, or two years, deux ans. J'ai 26 ans. I'm 26. Terre, earth, ground, soil. Terre with a capital letter will be earth, the planet we live on, and terre with no capital letter will be the earth you walk on. So if you mix earth and water, it makes mud. Si vous mélangez de la terre et de l'eau, ça fait de la boue. And then you can apply it as a mask on your face. Monsieur, sir. Monsieur, sir. Monsieur, monsieur, madame. <laughs> monsieur is a singular and monsieur will be plural. Les messieurs ont des jolies moustaches. Moustache. <laughs> I like that word. When you're a kid, you say, eh, teacher, while raising your hand. And then when you grow up and go to high school, it's like, more like, sir or monsieur, when you have a question. If you want to be really polite, you can put monsieur before the family name of someone. Monsieur Dupont or monsieur Durand, which are really common French family names. <laughs> voix, voice. Voix, voice. There is a TV show called The Voice, right? La Voix. Avoir une belle voix. Having a nice voice. La, la. Maison. House. House. Maison. This is my house. C'est ma maison. Yeah, I live in a greenish house and I stay here all day in a tiny window and talk to you guys. I don't have a house. Je n'ai pas de maison. Cat. Chat. Cats. Un chat. I'm a cat person. Je suis une personne à chat. I like cats. J'aime les chats. You're so cute and fluffy, come on. I can only think about kittens right now. <laughs> so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more French words and we'll see you next time. Bye. Maha. Ah, French people be so fancy. Allez, uh, let me grab you. The end. Tu viens au centre Georges Pompidou? Le centre Georges Pompidou? Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un musée d'art moderne. Et Georges Pompidou Qui c'est Oh là là 
c'est un président français. Vous êtes étudiant Pardon Ah oui Vous êtes étudiant à l'université Oui Et vous, qu'est-ce que vous faites Je suis comédienne. De cinéma Non, de théâtre. Je vous... Chut Regarde le film Moi, Jeanne. Toi, Tarzan. Hein Moi, Jeanne. Toi, Tarzan. Tu comprends le français euh, pardon Je ne comprends pas. Tu comprends le français Lentement, s'il te plaît. Tu comprends le français Ah oui, un peu. Tu habites à Paris Oui, j'habite à Belleville. Et toi Non, je n'habite pas à Paris. Tu habites où À Toulouse. D'où tu es moi, je suis de Klein Frankenheim. Klein Frankenstein Tu es allemand C'est Klein Frankenheim. Non, je suis français. Hey, watchers, and welcome back for more French words. This week will be top 25 French adjectives. Tout, all, tout, all, or everything. I have to think about everything. Je dois penser à tout. J'ai tout mangé. I ate everything. Because food is good. Oh yeah, tout is for object. If it's for people, like all the people, it will be tous. Grand, tall. Grand, tall. I'm not tall. Je ne suis pas grande. Un grand arbre. A tall tree. <laughs> Petit, small. Petit, small. A small snail, un petit escargot. It goes like this. Tout petit, tout petit. So small, so small. Même, even, same. Même, even, or same. C'est le même, it's the same. Doing it the same way, le faire de la même manière. Autre, other, autre, other. For example, if you are shopping for, let's say, shirts, And you want the same in another color. L'avez-vous dans une autre couleur? Do you have it in another color? Or do you have it in another size? Est-ce que vous l'avez dans une autre taille? Seul. Only. Lonely. Seul. Only. Can also mean lonely. Un seul. Only one. Going alone. J'y vais seul. No, don't go. Yes, I'm going alone. No. Take me with you. No, it's too dangerous. Or, je me sens seul. I'm feeling lonely. Jeune, young. Jeune, young. I'm still young. Je suis encore jeune. I'm not that old. Come on. Oh, les jeunes. Or, oh, ah, the youngsters. Premier, first. Premier, first. Je suis le premier. I'm the first. Be the first to comment. Soyez le premier à commenter. Comment right now, comment right now, comment right now. Bon, good, bon, good. This meal is so good. Ce plat est trop bon. Or, oh, that's good. Ah, oh, c'est bon. Or, it also means, yeah, it's okay. C'est bon. Quel, which, quel, which. Which one is it? Lequel est-ce? Beau, beautiful. I'm beautiful. Je suis belle. Oh. Beau is masculine and belle is feminine. C'est trop beau. This is so beautiful. You can hear young people saying that. But, wow, c'est trop beau. Wow, it's so beautiful. Vieux, old. Vieux, old. I'm getting old. Je me fais vieux. Which is also masculine and feminine will be vieille. Je me fais vieille. Noir, black. Noir, black. Je porte toujours des t-shirts noirs. I'm always wearing black shirts. You guys always complain that I'm only wearing black shirts. I'm sorry. Nouveau, new. Uh, nouveau, new. It's brand new. C'est tout nouveau. Dernier, last. Dernier, last. I always finish last. Je finis toujours en dernier. Blanc, white. Blanc. White. I'm wearing a white shirt today. 
Je porte une chemise blanche aujourd'hui. Or, clouds are white. Les nuages sont blancs. Cher, expensive. Cher, expensive. I never buy expensive stuff. Je n'achète jamais des trucs chers. So yeah, if you go to a Sunday market, you will have a lot of people uh, trying to catch you and be, hey, it's not expensive, buy it, buy it. I make it not expensive for you. C'est pas cher, c'est pas cher. <laughs> long, 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 long. I have long hair, again. J'ai les cheveux longs. Une longue journée, a long day. Today is going to be a long day. Pauvre, poor, pauvre, poor. When you want to say, ah, oh, it's this person is kind of oh, miserable or something bad happened to them, you say, oh, le pauvre, ah, oh, poor dear. Plein, full, plein, full. C'est plein de joie. It's full of joy. Ooh. Vrai, real, vrai, real, or can also be true. Is that true? Est-ce que c'est vrai? Oh my, god, oh, my god, oh my god, oh my god, is that for real? C'est vrai? No. In French, we'd be like, c'est pas vrai. Gentil, nice. Gentil, nice. I'm a nice person. Je suis une gentille personne. Bas, low. Bas, low. A low level, un niveau bas. Gros, big. Gros, big. Un gros éléphant. A big elephant. Un gros gâteau. A big cake. Doux. Soft, doux, soft. Oh, fluffy! I like the word fluffy better. A soft towel, une serviette douce. When you just wash them and they're all fluffy and then you can put your face in it. I like to put my face in kitten and rub them like this because they're so fluffy. Les chatons, c'est doux. Kittens are soft. Soft, kitty warm, kitty little ball of fur. Doux, chaton chaud, chaton cross. Petite boule de poil. Thank you for watching our top 25 adjectives and don't forget to subscribe for more French words and we'll see you next time. Bye! <coughs> French is not difficult. Le français n'est pas difficile. Welcome to Fun and Easy French by FrenchPod101.com. Do you know that there are gestures you probably do all of the time on every occasion, but are considered rude and offensive in France? Salut! Je suis Laurine. Hi everyone, I'm Laurine. In this lesson, you learn all about French body gesture. Sometimes, Gestures help us understand people and express ourselves better than the words we speak. If you want to meet new friends, be comfortable around French people and communicate without being offensive or rude, learning the specifics of French body language and gestures is definitely something that will benefit you. In this video, you'll learn 1. Greeting gestures 2. Positive gestures 3. Negative gestures 4. Neutral gestures 5. The reason why the French are so rude and 6. How FrenchPod 101 can help you Let's start with verbal greetings and their gestures. There are different body gestures when greeting someone in French. Let's start with Bonjour Hello Bonjour. Bonjour. You can say this while raising your hands and waving your hands from side to side with a swaying motion. It's used in informal situations to greet or say goodbye when you don't feel like doing handshakes or kisses or your art of arm reach of the people you know. It's a very common hand gesture used by the French. Another way to greet someone is by saying Bienvenue Welcome Bienvenue Bienvenue You can do this at a casual event by opening up your arms and spreading them with a smile. For formal occasions, open only one arm with a smile. 
This is how you greet your friends or peers in a warm and enthusiastic way. You can also greet your French friend through la bise, which means the kiss. La bise. La bise. Just lean forward and slightly brush cheeks with the other person while mimicking a kiss with the sound and lips gesture. Then switch cheeks and repeat. If you want se serrer la main, which means to shake hands, you can do so by reaching towards someone's hand and doing one or two up and down movements while looking at the person you're greeting straight in the eye. Se serrer la main. Se serrer la main. Shaking hands is common among friends, colleagues, or strangers in France. Next is positive gestures. Let's learn about French expressions and gestures that tend to have positive connotation. You'll surely find them useful next time you visit in France. First is oui. Yes, excellent. Oui, oui. You can add this by taking a fist and extending your thumbs upward. A thumbs up gesture in France is an old time classic. Although, if you're from the UK and US, be careful when using OK, where you join your index and thumbs to make a circle. In several European countries, including France, it's a negative meaning, zero or worthless. Another positive gesture commonly used in France is related to the expression ça va être génial. It's gonna be great. Ça va être génial. Ça va être génial. You just have to rub your palms together when doing this. But you're probably wondering what makes it a positive gesture when it can mean that you're cold. Depending on the context, rubbing your palms together usually convey that you're exciting or expecting something amazing. For example, You do this gesture when you're expecting to make good morning or before eating gorgeous looking meal. Delicieux is also a type of positive gesture in France. It means delicious. Delicieux. Delicieux. It can be done by kissing the joint tips of your finger when joyfully spreading them outward. This gesture is also known as the Italian chef kiss. You can use it when your French host is serving you a delicious, authentic French meal. Next is negative gestures. There are also negative gestures in French or action that are considered to be rude. Let's get into them right away. The first negative gesture is related to both which means something like I don't care, I don't know, I'm not sure. Buff. Buff. It's done by spreading your arms open with palms up, then raising and lowering your shoulders. This infamous garlic shrug has many different meanings, so it's not the easiest one to pick up. You can use it when you're feeling indifferent, doubtful or indecisive but it can express a wide range of messages. It's not my fault. There is nothing I can do. Don't ask me. And more. You can also use buff if you don't want to commit to a straight answer. For example, Je t'offre un verre? Can I offer you a drink? Je t'offre un verre? Je t'offre un verre? You can answer with buff. C'est pas mon problème. Not my problem. Not my fault. C'est pas mon problème. C'est pas mon problème. This is another negative gesture that you might want to avoid doing. In this gesture, people raise their hands slightly over their shoulder, palms toward the other person, with their head and shoulder defensively held back. 
It's a bit similar to the buff shrug, but is perceived as a stronger version where instead of being indifferent or indecisive, you just don't want anything to do with whatever you're asked for. Quelle barbe! What a drag! Boring! Or literally, what a beard! Quelle barbe! Quelle barbe! This is also a negative gesture in France. It's done by stroking your cheek a few times with the back of your fingers like you're caressing your beard. This negative gesture comes from old Parisian slang and is only one of many beard-related French idioms. You use this when you feel bored or are annoyed with the people around you but you're in a situation where you're not allowed to curse. For example, you are assigned to do a tedious task at work. You can turn to your co-workers and stroke your imaginary beard. Another example of a negative gesture is mon oeil, meaning I don't believe you, I highly doubt that. Mon oeil, mon oeil. It's done by using your index finger and pulling down the bottom lid of one eye. This is the French version of the American my foot to playfully express your disbelief or accuse someone of lying. This is a childish gesture though, so it's not really a good gesture for serious arguments or business negotiations. If you're feeling fed up or have had enough of something really terrible, you may use j'en ai ras -bol, which means I'm fed up, I've had enough. J'en ai ras le bol, j'en ai ras le bol. When translated literally, it just means my bowl is full. But in a French language, it has a unique meaning. When doing it, you can just swipe your end up horizontally over your head. Combined with an eloquent frown, you can use it to express your annoyance when trouble is spinning way up over your head. Next is neutral gestures. Now it's time to learn some neutral gestures commonly used in France. They will help you respond appropriately or express yourself without getting misinterpreted. First on the list is shh, shh, keep quiet. This is done by simply extending your index finger and placing it vertically across your mouse. You probably already know what this gesture means, but since it can take different forms in some countries, it's worth mentioning. Viens, come here. Viens, viens is a neutral expression done by extending up your index finger palm up and folding it inward. It can also be done with all finger at once. Because this isn't as obvious as it may seem, it should be performed properly. For example, if you use the Japanese palm down version in France, it can be interpreted as rude and disrespectful. Another neutral gesture you may want to practice is comme si comme ça, so so, more or less. Comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça. Just place your hand in front of you, palm down, and tip it from left to right several times. This convenient gesture can be used in a formal or casual situation. For example, if you're having a bad day and someone asks how you're going, you can use this gesture to respond. Another friend gesture that can express a wide variety of emotion ranging from surprise to annoyance, distress or disappointment is oh la la, meaning oh no, wow, oh la la, oh la la. You can do it by raising your hand in front of your chest and shaking it loosely as if trying to revive your numb fingers. You can also use it when you're impressed or if someone is in trouble. One funny gesture used to let people know that you're drunk or to raise their awareness 
of the intoxication of third party is avoir un coup dans le nez. To be drunk. Avoir un coup dans le nez. Avoir un coup dans le nez. Literally, it means to have a drink in the nose. It's done by placing a loose fist around the tip of your nose and rotate it as if trying to unscrew it. Another example of a neutral gesture is C'est pas donné. It's expensive. C'est pas donné. C'est pas donné. Literally, it means it's not given. But this informal gesture works in many situations where lots of money is involved. It's most commonly used for something expensive, but can also mean that something is lucrative. For example, when reading the menu of a pricey restaurant, you could use this gesture toward your friends to tell them you can't afford it and if you all could find a cheaper restaurant. Just rub your thumbs against the tips of your index and middle finger when doing this gesture. The last example of a neutral gesture is Il est fou, elle est cinglée. He's crazy, she's nuts. Il est fou, elle est cinglée. Il est fou, elle est cinglée. It's done by tapping the side of your head with the tip of your index finger. It's a bit similar to the American crazy gesture that will also be understood in France. Obviously, this is a very informal gesture and could be offensive to strangers, so only use it around your friends for humor. Next is why the French are so rude. Don't believe the rumor. French people aren't rude, but still we can't help but wonder why do some people assume this? France remains one of the top tourism destinations in the world, so where did the rude assumption come from? Allow us to share two different explanations for this. The first reason is body language and perception. Body language is a big deal, more than you can imagine, both around the world and in French culture. Your posture and attitude speak volumes and people form an opinion right away based on your gestures. For example, French people are more controlled than Americans in terms of body language. Their shoulder and arms stay close to the body, their chest straight in overall rigidity. The French look at it as an expression of restraint, but some call it being tense or stiff, which contributes to this impression of the French being cold and unwelcoming. Another reason is the intonation and gestures. Whatever space French people are taking when they move, they compensate for it when they talk. They use physical gestures to express a wide range of emotions without words, mostly using their face and hands, and it's easy to get the wrong impression if you don't know the language nor the gestures. Since the natural French intonation is also widely guilty of this impression, it makes the French sound angry, using sharp or abusive sounding tones even though they were only having a friendly debate over lunch. Now on to part 5. How can French Pod 101 help you? By teaching you French and getting you to speak from your very first lesson. French Pod 101 lesson builds you up from your first words to mastering entire conversations. And you get lessons for all levels from absolute beginner to advanced. Enough to take you from knowing zero to speaking fluently. You can also learn with your own teacher with the Premium Plus plan. They'll correct your French, tell you how to improve your speaking, writing and grammar, and even help you practice for job interviews in French. In this lesson, you learned different types of positive, negative and neutral gestures, as well as how French people differ from other cultures or countries in terms of body language and intonations. So, 
If you want to speak French and learn in the fastest, easiest and most fun way, go to frenchpod101.com and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Get our complete learning program with real lessons by real teachers. That's it for today. À la prochaine. See you next time. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at frenchpod101.com. Welcome back to Top Words, and this week will be about top 15 questions you should know. So if you travel in France, pay attention to those. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? So if you are invited somewhere, usually people ask this question. Aimes-tu la cuisine française? Do you like French food? Oh, aimes-tu la cuisine française? Yeah, sure, I love it. <laughs> so do you like French food? C'est quand votre anniversaire? When is your birthday? Quand est ton anniversaire? If you want to be a bit casual. Ou quand est ton anniversaire? When is your birthday? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? How long have you been studying French? Combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Or, pendant combien de temps as-tu appris le français? Usually we say, pendant combien de temps? I'm sorry if I speak really fast, but French people usually speak really fast. For three months. Wow, you're good. <laughs> Comment t'appelles-tu? What's your name? You will hear this one a lot. So, Comment t'appelles-tu? Or, more casually will be, Comment tu t'appelles? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Comment vas-tu? How are you? Hey, bonjour. Comment vas-tu? Or, you will often hear, Comment ça va? Hey, comment ça va? D'où venez-vous? Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? Where do you come from? And just answer, where you come from? I'm from America. <laughs> French people often make jokes about English speaking people, so prove them wrong by answering in French and you will impress them really much. That would be so great. <laughs> so try it. Es-tu déjà allé en France? Have you been to France? Well, aller is go. So if you are already in France when answering this, it would be Es-tu déjà venu en France? Which is, did you ever come to France? With a notion of, did you ever come before? Or is it your first time? Maybe you will also hear this one. Is it your first time in France? Ou, est-ce que c'est ta première fois en France? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? Où as-tu appris le français? Where did you learn French? On French Pod 101! <laughs> With me! Yeah, where did you learn French? Leave me a comment below. Maybe in your home country or on the internet or did you study it more seriously in school? So just tell me. Où habitez-vous? Where do you live? I used to live in the south. So between Spain and Italy. It was a nice place full of sun and everything. You should check it out. So come to the south of France. It's sunny. Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? Où sont les toilettes? You will need this one in a restaurant. Toilette is a plural word in French. We used to make a joke that French toilets are so dirty that you have to check many of them before finding a decent one. That's why it's a plural name. Some toilets you have to pay to access them actually in public places. So be careful. Sometimes you need a coin, especially in stations like train stations. Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? Où travaillez-vous? Where do you work? I work on the internet. It's a worldwide place. So, and after this one, usually you will be asked, what do you work in? Or what's your job? Quel est ton travail? Ou dans quoi travailles-tu? Here you go. Qu'avez-vous dit? What did you say? Qu'avez-vous dit? Or you will often hear, pardon? Or excuse me? Like, I'm sorry, like I didn't catch you. So, pardon, excusez-moi. Or, can you repeat? Pouvez-vous répéter? So, if French people say that to you, just try and repeating what you said. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? <gasps> Qu'est-ce que c'est? I don't know. 
show them something fancy for your own country and tell them. And they will ask, oh, qu'est-ce que c'est? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? What's your phone number? This is a pickup line. Hey, Ooh. what's your phone number? Quel est ton numéro de téléphone? Oh, yeah, maybe they will ask for your pseudo, which is your ID in any web messaging service. Es-tu célibataire? Are you single? And if you are traveling to France and happen to find love, maybe you will be asked, are you single? Es-tu célibataire? Or maybe the other sneaky way around. Est-ce que tu as un copain? Ou est-ce que tu as une copine? Do you have a boyfriend or do you have a girlfriend? So maybe you will find French love in France. Who knows? And it's the end for this week. Don't forget to subscribe for more and don't forget to check the website if you want to know more about French. <laughs> and see you next time. A bientôt. Oh. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express ticket. Billet pour train express. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Voiture une, rangée huit, place C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Jour férié, troisième dimanche du mois. Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean?
The display reads, the next train will not stop. Le prochain train ne s'arrêtera pas. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Sortie Est Hi everybody, Candice here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I answer your most common French questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I form the future tenses and when should I use them? There are two future tenses in French, the futur proche and futur simple. Proche means near. When we use futur proche, we're talking about the near future, things that will happen soon. Conjugation is easy. We use the present tense of aller, to go, and then add the infinitive. So the verb nager, to swim, becomes je vais nager, meaning I'm going to swim. Tu vas nager, meaning you're going to swim. Il va nager, meaning he's going to swim, and so on. To make the future simple, we add the stem plus the ending. The verb stem for e and ir verbs is just the infinitive. So, the verb stem for nager is nager. The verb stem for finir, to finish, is finir. For re verbs, we drop the e. So, vendre becomes vendre. The endings are very similar to the present conjugation of avoir. They're always the same e, a, a, on, e, However, there are irregular stems which you will have to memorize. We go for the most important ones now, saying the verb, its stem, a simple conjugation, and its translation. Aller, ir, j'irai, I will go. Être, ser, tu seras, you will be. Avoir, or, il aura, we will have. Pouvoir, pour, nous pourrons. We will be able to. Vouloir, voudre, vous voudrez. You will want to. Venir, viendre, elles viendront. They will come. Savoir, sort, je saurai. I will know. Faire, faire, tu feras. You will do or make. Envoyer. Envers, elle enverra. She will send. Okay, so which one should you use? You'll use the future proche for the near future and future simple for things that are further in the future. If you are going to go swimming right after this lesson, use future proche. Je vais nager. If you will swim in the ocean on your vacation in Barcelona, use future simple. Je nagerai dans la mer. Future simple is also used in some forms, like if statements. But we will cover those in later lessons, so don't worry about it now. If you use mostly future proche when speaking, you'll be just fine. Do you have any more questions? Please leave them in the comments below, and I try to answer them. À bientôt. See you soon. Welcome to Fun and Easy French by FrenchPod101.com. Do you know that there are different forms of greeting someone that you just met in French? Salut, je suis Laurine. Hi everyone, I'm Laurine. In this lesson, you'll learn all about how to introduce yourself in French. 
Learning how to introduce yourself in French is very important when making new French friends, especially if you're looking into leaving a great first impression with them. It's also not necessary for you to be fluent in French when introducing yourself in any situation. You only need to learn the right tips and tricks to make sure people don't forget about you once they get to know you. In this video, you'll learn first, how to get started when introducing yourself, second, how to learn about each other, then, some specific introduction lines, and finally, how to leave an impression and how French Pod 101 can help you. Let's start with how to get started. Do you want to make friends with the people in France and create a long-lasting first impression? Then, you need to know what formal greetings in French are. There is a French etiquette that you need to follow when greeting someone in French. Here's the first useful word. Bonjour, hello or good day. Bonjour. Bonjour is used from morning to sundown. It's not too formal, nor too relaxed. Another way to start a conversation is by greeting someone with Bonsoir, good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, it's the nighttime version of bonjour and can be used professionally and with your friends. You may also greet by saying Salut, hi, salut, salut. It's the casual version of bonjour that you can use at any time of the day. There are two forms of you in French. Vous, vous, vous for formal encounters or when meeting someone for the first time. And tu, tu, tu for more casual interaction or when meeting friends and acquaintance. Another formal greeting in French is shaking someone's hand or using la bise, the kiss. La bise. What are the differences? Let me explain. La bise, or the typical French custom of kissing on the cheeks, can be used when greeting someone of the opposite sex in a casual way, for example, after using salut and tu. But if you're not sure what to do, go for a handshake instead. Next is useful expressions to learn about each other. Now, let's learn about the classic questions and answers that usually come up when you meet someone. Others will not only get to know you, but you'll be able to get to know them as well. But before we begin, you first need to remember that questions have two forms. Formal and casual. Answers, on the other hand, mostly have one form only. Let's start with the question, what's your name? Giving your name or asking someone's name in French uses the verb s'appeler. 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 The casual form of what's your name is Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Or, tu t'appelles comment? Tu t'appelles comment? Tu t'appelles comment? The formal form, on the other hand, is Comment vous appelez-vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? Here's an example of an answer. Je m'appelle Bob. My name is Bob. Je m'appelle Bob. Je m'appelle Bob. It literally means I call myself Bob. This is the most common way to state your name and it works in both formal and casual situations. Now, it's your turn to ask the same question. You can casually say Et toi? And you? Et toi? Et toi? Or formally say Et vous? And you? Et vous? Et vous? When you're being asked back in a casual situation, you can answer Moi 
c'est Bob. I'm Bob. Moi, c'est Bob. Moi, c'est Bob. Next, I'm going to teach you how to ask and answer back in French with the question Where are you from? The casual form of this question is like this. D'où tu viens? Where are you from? D'où tu viens? Other forms are Tu viens d'où? Tu viens d'où? Or Tu es d'où? Tu es d'où? Another example is De quel pays tu viens? From what country are you from? De quel pays tu viens? De quel pays tu viens? Or Tu es de quelle nationalité? What is your nationality? Tu es de quelle nationalité? Tu es de quelle nationalité? The formal way on the other end is like this. D'où venez-vous? Where are you from? D'où venez-vous? D'où venez-vous? Or, de quel pays venez-vous? From what country are you from? De quel pays venez-vous? De quel pays venez-vous? Another example is Quelle est votre nationalité? What is your nationality? Quelle est votre nationalité? Quelle est votre nationalité? If you're from another country, like China, you can answer with the Je viens de Chine. I'm coming from China. Je viens de Chine. Je viens de Chine. Or, je suis chinois. If you're male, je suis chinoise. If you're female, it means I am Chinese. Je suis chinois. Or, je suis chinoise. If you feel like giving the city where you're currently living, you can say, Je viens de Paris. I'm from Paris. Je viens de Paris. Je viens de Paris. Or, j'habite à Paris. I'm living in Paris. J'habite à Paris. J'habite à Paris. Next up, we're going to learn the casual and formal way of asking the question What's your profession? and how to answer it in French. Don't worry, in French, it's very common to ask about other people's job in the early conversation. So, feel free to ask this question or answer back if you're being asked. The casual way of asking about someone's profession is like this. Tu fais quoi dans la vie? What are you doing in life? Tu fais quoi dans la vie? Tu fais quoi dans la vie? Or Tu fais quel métier? What is your job? Tu fais quel métier? Tu fais quel métier? In a formal setting, you can ask it like this. Quel travail faites-vous? What is your occupation? Quel travail faites-vous? Quel travail faites-vous? If you're being asked about your profession, you can answer in any of these ways. Je suis étudiante. I'm a student. Je suis étudiante. Je suis étudiante. Or, j'étudie la biologie. I'm studying biology. J'étudie la biologie. J'étudie la biologie. Another one is je travaille dans l'informatique. I'm working in IT. Je travaille dans l'informatique. Je travaille dans l'informatique. You can also answer with Je suis dans la finance. I'm working in finance. Je suis dans la finance. Je suis dans la finance. Or, if you're a carpenter, you can say je suis charpentier. I'm a carpenter. Je suis charpentier. Je suis charpentier. By the way, 
The keywords here are travail or métier, which means occupation or profession. Travail or métier. During casual conversations, you can replace them with some slang expressions. For example, boulot, 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 or taf, 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 or job, job, job. When meeting someone for the first time, asking about their family isn't really too common. But just in case someone asks you, you might as well learn how to ask or answer it in French. Here are some examples in casual French. Tu es marié? Are you married? Tu es marié? Tu es marié? Tu as des enfants? Do you have kids? Tu as des enfants? Tu as des enfants? Tu as des frères et sœurs? Do you have brothers and sisters? Tu as des frères et sœurs? Tu as des frères et sœurs? In a formal setting, you can ask it this way. Vous êtes marié? Are you married? Vous êtes marié? Vous êtes marié? Vous avez des enfants? Do you have kids? Vous avez des enfants? Vous avez des enfants? Vous avez des frères et sœurs? Do you have brothers and sisters? Vous avez des frères et sœurs? Vous avez des frères et sœurs? Then, you may find yourself answering in any of these ways. Oui, je suis marié. Yes, I'm married. Oui, je suis marié. Oui. Je suis marié. Non, je suis célibataire. No, I'm single. Non, je suis célibataire. Non, je suis célibataire. Non, je suis divorcé. No, I'm divorced. Non, je suis divorcé. Non, je suis divorcé. J'ai deux enfants. I have two kids. J'ai deux enfants. J'ai deux enfants. J'ai un petit frère et une grande sœur. I have a little brother and a big sister. J'ai un petit frère et une grande sœur. J'ai un petit frère et une grande sœur. French people are a bit more sensitive about asking someone else's age, especially for women. But if you meet a young girl or a woman who's comfortable about answering just about any questions, then you may ask about her age. The casual way of asking someone's age is Tu as quel âge? How old are you? Tu as quel âge? Tu as quel âge? Asking in a formal manner is Quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous? Then you can answer it with J'ai 30 ans. I'm 30 years old. J'ai 30 ans. J'ai 30 ans. Next question you may ask or might be asked of you is a question about your hobbies. The casual way of asking is C'est quoi tes hobbies? Or passe-temps? What are your hobbies? C'est quoi? Tes hobbies, passe-temps. C'est quoi tes hobbies, passe-temps? Or you can also ask, tu fais quoi de ton temps libre? What do you do with your free time? Tu fais quoi de ton temps libre? Tu fais quoi de ton temps libre? The formal way, on the other hand, is, quels sont vos hobbies? What are your hobbies? Quels sont vos hobbies? Quels sont vos hobbies? Or, que faites-vous de votre temps libre? What do you do with your free time? Que faites-vous de votre temps libre? The formal way, on the other end, is 
Quels sont vos hobbies? What are your hobbies? Quels sont vos hobbies? Quels sont vos hobbies? Or, que faites-vous de votre temps libre? What do you do with your free time? Que faites-vous de votre temps libre? Que faites-vous de votre temps libre? Here are some examples of answering this question in French. Je joue au tennis. I'm playing tennis. Je joue au tennis. Je joue au tennis. Je joue du piano. I'm playing piano. Je joue du piano. Je joue du piano. Je passe mes nuits sur HBO. I spend my nights on HBO. Je passe mes nuits sur HBO. Je passe mes nuits sur HBO. J'écris un journal de voyage. I'm writing a travel diary. J'écris un journal de voyage. J'écris un journal de voyage. Next, let's see some specific introduction lines. Now that you know the most common questions and answers in French, let's now start learning how to introduce yourself with useful French phrases in certain situations. When traveling, you may find yourself conversing with friendly locals. The conversation could go this way. Tu voyages depuis longtemps? You're being asked. Have you been traveling for a long time? Tu voyages depuis longtemps? Tu voyages depuis longtemps? Then, you can answer with Je voyage depuis deux mois. I have been traveling for two months. Je voyage depuis deux mois. Je voyage depuis deux mois. If you are asked, tu as visité quel autre pays? What other countries did you visit? Tu as visité quel autre pays? Tu as visité quel autre pays? You can answer with, je suis allé en Espagne et en Italie. I have been to Spain and Italy. Je suis allé en Espagne et en Italie. Je suis allé en Espagne et en Italie. But what about when you're meeting with your coworkers? You may be asked, tu travailles dans quel service? Which means, in which division are you working? Tu travailles dans quel service? Tu travailles dans quel service? Then, you can answer with Je travaille aux ressources humaines. I'm working with HR. Je travaille aux ressources humaines. Je travaille aux ressources humaines. Another question could be Tu bosses sur quoi en ce moment? What are you working on right now? Tu bosses sur quoi en ce moment? Tu bosses sur quoi en ce moment? You may answer it with Je viens de commencer un nouveau projet. I have just started working on a new project. Je viens de commencer un nouveau projet. Je viens de commencer un nouveau projet. When you're in a casual social event, someone might ask you tu fais quoi demain soir? What are you doing tomorrow night? Tu fais quoi demain soir? Tu fais quoi demain soir? You may answer with Je vais au cinéma avec un pote. I'm going to a movie with a pal. Je vais au cinéma avec un pote. Je vais au cinéma avec un pote. Another question you may come across is Tu as un copain? Or Tu as une copine? Do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? Tu as un copain? Tu as une copine? Tu as un copain? Or Tu as une copine? You may answer with Non, on a rompu il y a deux semaines. No, we broke up two weeks ago. Non, 
on a rompu il y a deux semaines. Non, on a rompu il y a deux semaines. Another situation you might get into while in France is participating in a family meeting. So, if a family member asks you, Vous vous êtes rencontrés comment? Meaning, How did you meet? Vous vous êtes rencontrés comment? Vous vous êtes rencontrés comment? You can answer it with J'ai rencontré Julie à l'université. I met Julie at the university. J'ai rencontré Julie à l'université. J'ai rencontré Julie à l'université. Another question that you might be asked of you is Comment tu connais Bastien? How do you know Bastien? Comment tu connais Bastien? Comment tu connais Bastien? You may answer it with On travaille ensemble. We work together. On travaille ensemble. On travaille ensemble. Next is how to leave an impression. We would like to share with you a couple of tips that you can use if you want to leave a great impression when making new friends. The first tip is to never make it all about yourself. When someone asks something about you, there's really no need to tell that person everything about you. It will make you more interesting and appealing if you let that person find out what else he can offer or can do. Talk less about yourself. Ask them questions instead. Learn more about their culture or find what they like to do. Focus on getting to know them more. It will make them feel you are interested in them and they will soon feel comfortable to be around you. Another thing you may want to do if you want to leave a great impression is showing your interest by dropping a word of appreciation once you hear that person's name. This can take different forms. Here are some examples. Enchanté, which means delighted. Enchanté, enchanté. Ravi de vous rencontrer, or heureux, or heureuse de vous rencontrer. Happy to meet you. Ravi de vous rencontrer, or heureux, or heureuse de vous rencontrer. Ravi de vous rencontrer, or Heureux or heureuse de vous rencontrer. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer. It's a pleasure to meet you. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer. You can cut it down to Un plaisir de vous rencontrer. Please to meet you. Un plaisir de vous rencontrer. Un plaisir de vous rencontrer. Or even, un plaisir, a pleasure, un plaisir, un plaisir. Other forms to show your interest when you're greeting in French are Je m'appelle Julie. My name is Julie. Je m'appelle Julie. Je m'appelle Julie. You can then say C'est un très joli prénom. It's a really pretty name. C'est un très joli prénom. Prénom. C'est un très joli prénom. Another example is Je suis photographe. I'm a photographer. Je suis photographe. Je suis photographe. You can respond with Génial! Quel genre de photo? Great! What kind of photos? Génial! Quel genre de photo? Génial! Quel genre de photo? And j'ai 40 ans. I'm 40 years old. J'ai 40 ans. J'ai 40 ans. You may then say, Vraiment? Tu fais beaucoup plus jeune. Really? You look so much younger. Vraiment? Tu fais beaucoup plus jeune. Vraiment? Tu fais beaucoup plus jeune. The last tip we want to share with you is for you to start a conversation in French. You're likely to make a good first impression if you at least try to converse in French. 
It doesn't matter if your French isn't polished. They will appreciate you for trying. Saying bonjour, hello, bonjour, bonjour. Or, je ne parle pas français. I don't speak French. Je ne parle pas français. Je ne parle pas français. It's better than not being able to speak any French words at all. Now on to part 5. How can FrenchPod 101 help you? By teaching you French and getting you to speak from your very first lesson. FrenchPod 101's lessons build you up from your first words to mastering entire conversations. And you get lessons from for all levels, from absolute beginner to advanced. Enough to take you from knowing zero to speak fluently. You can also learn with your own teacher with the Premium Plus plan. They'll correct your French, tell you how to improve your speaking, writing and grammar, and even help you practice for job interviews in French. In this lesson, you learned how to greet in French in casual and formal manner. The most common types of question and answers, example of introduction lines, and how to leave a good first impression when meeting a French person for the first time. Great work! Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.